Today's video is how to customize Bootstrap using SASS. Bootstrap is a powerful CSS framework. Personally, I use a lot. There are many chances that I will need to customize Bootstrap in order to meet specific requirements. On Bootstrap's website, they have a customized section on how to do the Bootstrap customization. Let's say I have this sample website. I have a primary class, button primary, test primary, BG primary, and border primary. And also I have another class column. The big point is SM. Let's take a look at the index HTML. So I have column, the big point is SSM, and also the primary class BG background primary and button primary, test primary and border primary. So let's say I want to change the primary class default color from blue to something else. And also I want to change the break point for SM. Now the break point for SM, let's take a look at the bootstrap grid component. For the brick point SM is 576. So that means 576. If it's less than 576, it will break and then the column will be stacked vertically. Let's say I prefer to have the column SM breakpoint to be changed from 576 to 700, and I want the column to break at 700. Then we need to do the bootstrap customization. Let's take a look on how to do the bootstrap customization on the overview section. Of the butcher website, we will need to use SASS. So we are going to download SASS. In the SAS website page, they mentioned we can use Node.js. So what I did is I went to the Node.js and download the software and then came back to SSS website to continue to download the SASS. So in my case, I have already downloaded. And then the type SASS version. And then you display the version of the software. And if you type SASS version, there's a message telling you that you don't have the software installed. Then you just go to the website to install. First, I will go to the folder of my website. So the folder of my website is under document folder and then my website. I will cd to the website folder document and cd my website. Okay. So index HTML, index HTML. And then I will go to the bootstrap homepage, go to the download. I'm going to download the source file, SASS source file. Download source. After we download the source file, zip file, unzip it is checked. Then open the folder. What we need is the SCS folder. Control C and go back to your website folder, paste. So that's the SCSS folder. I'm going to rename it. You can rename it whatever name you prefer. 
So which this folder will contain all the CSS file. I'm going to have a parent folder, put the Puja folder under here. Then next time, if uh, there's a Puja new release in the future, you can just download the Puja source file again and then override this folder. First, we are going to compile the SCSS file into CSS file. So my website and then CS, SCSS. What we need to do is SASS. This is the folder. Bootchat folder and Bootchat CSS. And then we create another CSS folder. Inside this CSS folder, uh, maybe it's your workplace. Okay. Under this my website folder, under the SCSS folder, and then also the inside the bootstrap folder, we are going to compile this file into another bootstrap CSS file under the CSS folder. Even though we don't have this CSS folder here, but then the software is going to create a new one for us. So just enter. Okay, we can see that a new folder CSS has been created and also inside the CSS, there's a CSS file. Next, we are going to do the customization. We go back to the SCSS. Inside this bootstrap folder, we are going to copy this SCSS file and then paste. We rename this file, whatever name you prefer. Maybe I just look customize, customize. And then open this file. And here you just choose whatever component you prefer. I just need to remove those components I don't need, such as net, net bar, card, accordion, uh, breadcrumb pagination. I don't need this, so I just remove those components. I just need button group button. Okay, I don't need this. Just choose whatever component you need. Okay, maybe this. And then because all those files are under Ultra folder, so we need to put the name in front of it in order to let the customization file know that where get this file so here because all those file is under this bootstrap folder and then we need to let the customization file know where to look for those file is under this folder and we go back here and then save first In this customization file, we will write down which component we want to customize. Then what we need to do is go back to the Bootstrap website and look under customize section. So here come option, color, SCSS variable component will tell you which variable is corresponding to which component then you can choose to do the customization. In my case, because I want to customize the primary class and also the grid breakpoint. So what I need to do is I go to the variables here, variable CSS, 
And then I'm going to set primary, primary. So this is the variable. I'm just copy this, customize, come back here, paste. Then I would just need to find which color I want to use. Let's say we find some color, the color view. Let's say I want to change the primary class default color from blue to this color. Then I just need to copy paste this color. And also for the breakpoint, I know that the variable for the breakpoint is oh, it's right there. It's grid breakpoint. So I just copy this, go back to the customization file, and then all I need is to do the customization for SM so I can remove all those I don't need. And also I want to change the customization on the breakpoint from 576 to 700. So I just need to update the value to 700. So that's it, Control F. Now we finish. It's the customization. We just need to compile the file again. And then what we need to do is and then hide the SASS and it's inside the FCSS folder. And the name of the customization file is customize FCSS. We are going to put this uh, CSS file inside the CSS folder. I'm going to name it my style. CSS. And then enter. There's no error message. That means it's finished compiling. So we will go to the CSS folder. Then we can see the my style CSS file. And then go back to your website document, the index HTML. And then replace this style sheet with your own CSS file. Okay, it should be under CSS folder. Okay, so that's it. Control S, Control W. Now we go back to your website, the bootstrap demo, and then refresh. Then we can see that the primary class default color has been changed from blue to the color we define ourselves. And also for the breakpoint, we can see that now the breakpoint for column SM is 700. Instead of 576 before, so that's how you customize bootstrap.